Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one of the most important concept in computer organization and architecture is addressing modes. Before going to the definition of addressing modes and types of addressing modes, first of all we have to know the concept of instruction format that means how instructions are stored in uh, memory and what is direct address and what is indirect address. These are the points you have to know compulsory for better understanding of addressing modes. So now we can go for what is instruction format. So generally instructions are stored in computer memory by using either 16 bit format or a 32 bit format. Okay, so this is the 16 bit format of instructions. So here 0 to 11 contains the address part, 12 to 14 contains the off code part, and 14 to 15 contains the mode bit. It can be denoted by I. So this is the 16 bit instruction format. It contains three parts. Okay. First part is address part. This address part contains the address of the operand to perform the operation. Okay. This part specifies the address of the operand to perform the operation. Next one is this part specifies the of what is the operation to be performed. Next, this part specifies the mode bit. So, mode bit is denoted by i. If i value is equal to 0, so it indicates direct addressing. If i value is equal to 1, it indicates indirect addressing. So, by using the mode bit, we have to retrieve the operand from the memory by using direct address and indirect address. Okay, so based on the mode, we have to retrieve the operand from the uh, memory to perform the operation by using direct addressing and indirect addressing. Now, what is direct addressing and what is indirect addressing? Okay. If I value is equal to 0, it indicates direct addressing. If I value is equal to 1, it indicates indirect addressing. Okay. Consider the direct address instruction. Okay. Suppose this is the instruction. So, 0 add 457. Okay. So, here when we, this instruction is compared with the uh, 16 bit instruction format here mode bit is equal to 0 if mode bit is equal to 0 it indicates direct address instruction okay and op code is add that means op code means what is the operation to be performed okay here add instruction is that we have to perform addition operation next one uh, Third part contains the address part. So, this address part contains the address of the operand in memory. So, here uh, in this part, the binary equivalent of 457 is there. Okay. The equivalent decimal value is uh, 457. Now, first of all, we have to retrieve the operand by using the direct address. Here 0 is nothing but direct address. So whenever i value is equal to 0, that means mode bit is equal to 0, the address part of the instruction contains the address of the operand. Okay. Now we can go to this address. In that address, we are getting the operand value. Okay. So, this address is nothing but address of the operand. Here, the operand is placed in this location. Its address is 457. This 457 should be there in the address part of the instruction. 
so once we are retrieving the operand from the address part of the instruction by using the direct address then we have to perform the addition operation to perform the addition operation so to it requires two operands one operand is there in the address 457 another operand is there in accumulator accumulator is one type of cpu register so one operand is there in accumulator and another operand is there in the address 457 in memory okay so this operand is retrieved and the operand in the accumulator is also retrieved then we have to perform the addition operation on these two operands then we are getting the result that result is also stored in the accumulator okay so this is this is the description about the direct address okay the summary of direct address is okay here this is the instruction this instruction stored in the memory at address 22 okay here the mode bit value is 0 and off code is add and address part of the instruction is 457 so whenever mode bit value is equal to 0 so it is a direct addressing that means the address part of the instruction contains the address of the operand okay to get the operand first of all we have to go to this address so from this address we are retrieving or fetching the operand okay so one operand is uh, ready from this address and another operand is there in the cpu register called accumulator okay so one operand is there in this address and another operand is there in this address okay whenever we are fetching these two operands then we are perform the addition operation between these two operands so once we are uh, performing the addition operation again the result is also stored in the accumulator so this is the description about the direct address okay next one is indirect address okay so this is called as indirect address instruction because mode bit value is equal to 1 mode bit value is equal to 1 and off code is add and address part of the instruction contains the address 300 so whenever mode bit value is equal to 1 okay so it contains a it contains we first first of all we have to go to this address okay in this address address of the operand is there again we can go to this address then we are getting the operand okay so here this is the indirect address instruction okay so here in this place directly we do not get the address of the operand okay first of all we can go to this address in that address the address of the operand is there so 1350 is the address of the operand okay so 1350 address is 300 300 is placed in this address so it is a indirect address it is not an address of the operand for getting the address of the operand first of all we have to go to this address in the memory so in that one so address of the operand is available again we can go to this address we can get the operand okay so this is the indirect address instruction stored in the memory at address 35 okay so once we are getting the uh, operand value another operand is uh, stored in the accumulator so once we are fetching the two operands from the memory we are performing the addition operation so whatever the result we are getting from this uh, addition operation the result is also stored in the accumulator okay 
so this is the description about the indirect address now what is the difference between direct and indirect address okay in the direct address instruction the address part of the instruction contains the address of the operand whereas in the case of indirect addressing indirect addressing the address part of the instruction contains a particular address go to that address in that address address of the operand is there so this is the operand its address is 1350 So 1350 address is 300. 300 is there in the address part of the instruction. Okay. So this is the simple description about instruction format, direct and indirect address addressing. Okay. Once we are thoroughly knowing the direct and indirect addressing, next we have to go for addressing mode. Okay. No.